Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I want to show you something I got for the camper slash RV. It's from Bogue RV. This is a uh, seven-way trailer plug in case you uh, damage the one that comes on your RV or your, uh, your camper trailer, uh, utility trailer, food trailer, whatever works on all of them as long as you get the seven wire plug and uh, this is made so you can not just re replace the plug on the end but it's a lot better quality if you replace the plug and the cord has a junction box built in so you connect all your wires to for your brakes, taillights, your accessories, your um, brakes, uh, brake lights, taillights and turn signals everything. So let's open the box and see what's in there. Alright, inside we have the cord. This is an 8 foot long cord so it's nice and long, plenty to reach back where you can junction all your stuff into it. You can see it has the 7 wire plug which is the same thing that's on my uh, 14 foot trailer I haul my backhoe with and also my travel trailer that uses the same plug. It has instructions showing you which wire goes to what so that's pretty handy. Um, it also tells you what gauge wire each one is. The 10 gauge wire for the white ground. The left turn stop wire is 14 gauge, so the red wire. The green 14 gauge running and tail lights. The blue wire which is 12 gauge for the electric brakes. We also have the brown wire which is 14 gauge for the right stop turn. The yellow wire is the backup lights, reverse lights. And the black wire is auxiliary. Okay, as you can see here, it's actually identical to the plug. This is the one for my travel trailer. This is the one that will plug into my Jeep Gladiator. And it's identical. So if I was to tear this plug up, sometimes they just get corroded. Sometimes they actually, with bad connection and corrosion, causes it to melt this plug and actually burn it up. You can replace it instead of just putting the end on. And or if you're building a trailer, which you can use this if you're building a trailer, you could use this cord, eight foot, run this down your trailer, then you can connect all your wires into this box right here. It also comes with different grommets depending on the wire that you're going to run inside. So this thing is waterproof for the cable that goes inside. You can see on this end here, if you have a different size cable, you could actually make holes in these solid grommets right here for the size wire that you're using. Okay, it's a little bit dark back here, but we can take and at least see if it makes sure that it does plug in. It looks like it should be identical, and it is. Plugs in, locks down good, so don't pull out. It's got nice uh, grips here so you can get a hold of it uh, ergonomically and pull it out, just like that. Okay, here you can see with the cover off that we have a notch here on the side that we can use one of the rubber grommets in. And the ones that we don't use a rubber grommet in, we want to put take the solid one out of the end, like here, and put in those in case we use this end, we can use the solid one here. And if we use these here, there's also clamps, so when you put your wire in, you can tighten these screws down and clamp your wire so it'll be solid and not be pulling out on you. And then you have all these lugs here that you'll be putting your wires on. And all you need is some uh, ring terminals like this, depending on the gauge of wire that you're going to be using. So the heavier gauge wire, like the ground wire, you would want to use the heavier one. Okay, on the smaller gauge wires, you could actually use a smaller terminal to go on there. So really easy to do, crimp our wires on, run them to our brakes, our tail lights, our brake lights. Everything connects right in the box, run your wires out, clamp them down, and you're good to go. So you can take this thing and actually mount it back on your um, trailer somewhere. It has mounting tabs with holes in it right here. Looks like about a quarter inch hole where you can mount this thing solid and it will be waterproof. Okay, this, the BOGO RV trailer plug, the box, is made from flame proof ABS. It has four open close grommets that come with it of course. This is a much easier way to manage your loose wires. Instead of taking all your wires, butt connector where water can get in them, bad connections, you'll definitely have a good connection by using these lugs. So if you're going to wire a new trailer, this would be the way to go. 
or if you replace your plug, put this on. It'll make it a lot easier in the future to test it and to rewire it. Also with this you get a two-year warranty and you also get lifetime customer service. So as I said, this thing will be really good for uh, travel trailers, uh, RVs, campers, uh, caravans, food vans, and all kinds of towed vehicles, all kinds of trailers. If you wanted, some people would actually put these on a vehicle that you want to tow behind something and you can have your lights wired into it. Just plug your vehicle in to your seven wire connector. Okay, that's it guys. Uh, I'm going to put a link below to Amazon where you can pick one of these up. And uh, this is Bogue RV. They also have all kinds of other things for uh, RVs, travel trailers. So check them out. There's a whole big list of stuff they got, but I will put this on my Amazon store and I'll put a link below to where you can check this out. It's really a cost-effective way to go. Thank you for watching. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all in the next one.